Now we can go after that motherfucker. Look on the bright side, man. From then on, according to Reagan, fighting the narcos was the same as fighting the commies. We got a tidal wave of money and all the resources we needed. The U.S. Southern Command in Panama sent us a care package. Planes, helicopters, you fucking name it, everything. Our resources and intel helped the Colombians raid labs all over the country and burn them straight to the ground, seizing over a billion dollars in coke. We were kicking ass and the narcos were feeling it. The price of cocaine in Miami was skyrocketing. Despite all this, we'd yet to net one of the Medellin kingpins. Till we put a tracking device on a Colombian-bound shipment of ether, the essential ingredient in cocaine processing. Got it. The barrel that we tracked brought us to Tranquilandia, Medellin's biggest processing lab, and we hit it hard. The ensuing gun battle cost dozens of men, but in the end, it got us our biggest victory to date, the first of the Medellin kingpins, Carlos later. In my tent is a bag of 50,000. Ten times this if you give me one hour. No hay forma, Carlitos. Te vas a Disneylandia. Later was immediately extradited to the States where a federal court sentenced him to life, plus 135 years. Extradition worked. Carlos will die in an American jail. And no one savored this victory more than the Colombians. For anti-narco candidate Luis Carlos Galan, it would provide him the momentum he needed to propel him to the presidency. Extradition would become his battle cry. Señores? Gracias. And for the narcos, this was a declaration of war.